said that if you've played the game before, it's still worth playing again. Uh, and it asked me when I booted up the game if I've played it before. And knowing the Stanley Parable, if you don't know what it is, it's it kind of like messes with your brain. And there's a narrator playing along with you, and you kind of go against him or you go with him, and it has a m multiple permutations that you can go through. And it's very, very fun. So I want to see what the new game has to offer. Oh my god, the end is never the end, is this never is the, the end. Story of a man. Yeah. <laughs> Stanley worked at a company in the building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor at his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what... It's like severance. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it... So you want to become a video creator, but aren't you... Yeah, this commercial is something that I actually do. Yeah. Get all the footage you need. <laughs> as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. Until tax season. And Stanley was happy. Mm -hmm. Until tax season. Orders came to him through a monitor at his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them. And in one it's like severance. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul winning, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came <laughs> as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. Until tax season. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No yeah. one showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened. This complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the Making sure you record on this because this is my whole stuff. So far. Longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Okay. <laughs> See, this is the type of thing now where if I didn't move, the game would actually react to that. So, let's move around. I, I can't remember any of this. It's been a really, really long time. You try to remember anything from eight years ago. You were probably in diapers back then. Yeah. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps <laughs> he had it. simply missed a memo. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. They're all dead, Stanley. They've all gone to heaven and left you behind because... Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. 
Never in all his years at the company had this happened, this complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Okay. See, this is the type of game now where if I didn't move, the game would actually react to that. So let's move around. I, I can't remember any of this. It's been a really, really long time. You try to remember anything from eight years ago. You were probably in diapers back then. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps <laughs> he had simply missed a memo. <laughs> no matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. They're all dead, Stanley. They've all gone to heaven and left you behind because Earth is hell. And there's no place more like hell than working in an office in a nine to five job. <laughs> Let's erase that person's entire week's worth of work. Cool. Ah, that's fine. He's dead anyway. I hate Mondays. You and me both, pal. Wait. When I'm walking around and I left click, it sounds like I'm tapping a keyboard. Get your first achievement, you can't jump. Oh yeah, there's an achievement for playing the original Stanley Parable. If you don't play the game for five years, you get an achievement. And now in this ultra deluxe version of the game, it's 10 years. <laughs> you have to not play the game for 10 years to be able to get that achievement. Wow. That's wild. This does not make sense. <laughs> sure. Okay. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Okay. For this first run through the game, I'm going to obey the narrator and I'm going to see where that actually gets us. And then after that, we're going to disobey the narrator. The narrator? The narrator. The narrator. Let me in! What's happening? Anybody? Oh no. I'm trapped. Yeah. Yeah. Yet there was not a single person here either. Oh no! Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Oh no, it's like a nightmare. I'm I've I've had to come and do a PowerPoint presentation for like 15 people and I don't know what it's about. I've had actual nightmares like this. Do not alter without consulting whiteboard manager. That looks like a mess. All of this whiteboard and you put that there. The whole thing is a uh, is like the shape you need. Yeah. Use it. Yeah. Complete today's unfinished agenda items right next to today's agendas reflect what is all this empty space number of slides on the slides <laughs> oh god this game is funny the writing in this game is some of the best you'll ever find in a video game or anywhere it feels like Stephen Merchant and Ricky Gervais wrote a video game Stanley stepped into the broom closet but there was nothing here so he turned around and got back on track you got it narrator 
Yeah, seem like it was about to yeah, be a yeah, yeah, so Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Okay. The whole thing. This, the whole thing. So that's that's point. three different choices we could make now. We could walk downstairs here, or we could have gone to the right door, or go up the stairs. I I lost track of my own choices. <laughs> Executive bathroom. Yes, please. I can poop like a god. The, but I hate this wallpaper. This would not make me want to poop. I've got the feeling money's for stealing. But not yours, of course. So that's a lovely purse. Is that a song? Extreme bathrooms. Time magazines. Toilet of the year. You'll never want to poop in anything else! Whoa, somebody's got fancy living. This is so much like Aperture as well, and Portal. I think it might have been inspired by that stuff originally. There's no one Stepping into his manager's either. office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this. What dark secret was being held from him? What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. Oh. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. 2845. How do you but know of that? Course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. <laughs> Yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct code. But <laughs> um, he um, stepped into the newly opened passageway. Whoa, dude, it's like God, it's like Aperture as well, and Portal. I think it might have been inspired. Oh yeah, Rapper Portal. Stuff, oh yeah, Rapper Portal. Portal two. Another Portal. 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 Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this. What dark secret was being held from him? What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. Oh. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. 2845. How do you but know that? Course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. <laughs> Yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct code by sheer <laughs> Amazing. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. Whoa. Dude, it's like God is my friend. Uh, I guess God is supposed to be your friend. But I, it's like having God as your narrator, guiding you through life. Could you imagine if you had that precognition to be able to avoid things or do things expertly? God, I wonder about that all the time. Like I'm, I'm doing something, I'm like, don't eat that because you shit yourself later, you know? Things like that. I want to have that power. Still got my keyboard with me, I see. I wonder if you get an achievement for clicking enough times. I think you do. Editor X presents five steps to win over any client. Step one, sweep them off their feet. Bring. going to flip it on its head though because if I've played the game before clearly the game is going to recognize that as though he felt more free to think for himself to question the nature of his job why did he feel this now when for years it had never occurred to him this question would not go unanswered for long Mm. I love that narrator's voice. What was that? Sean what was that? had woken up. He went downstairs and had a bowl Hello? of porridge. Hello? 
My life is not as exciting as standing. Yeah, what's up? It's like the Kurzgesagt yeah, narrator. The universe is very large. <laughs> I want someone like this narrating yeah, my yeah. entire yeah. life. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Oh, we can escape as well. I'm okay with not escaping. Um, I'll go to the Mind Control Facility. Uh, I like this one better. I'll get indoctrinated and go back to my job. Ooh. Big shiny button. Baby want push. What does this say? Yeah, I'm here, I'm here, the lights Whoops. rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. Oh, what horrible yeah. secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? You know what's weird about this? Is that looking at this, I was about to say, it's like the architect's room in The Matrix. Now, having played this game before, I feel like I've made that joke before, and it's going to be really interesting to like watch the parallels between both playthroughs because I legit don't remember a thing. This is so like the Matrix! This is like the architect's office. And I wonder if the game's gonna play into that. Like going through another loop of this, having been so long since the last time. I don't know. I'm very curious to see how it handles it. Employee observation protocol. Okay. Ooh. Now the monitors jumped to oh, God. their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building. That's so Stanley's cool. Co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen. And Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom is. I'm 427, aren't I? That's going to be me right there. Show me. That's it! That's my desk! <laughs> That's so cool! I'm on TV! <laughs> wow! <laughs> I get to be a... I'm a celebrity! Look at me go! Stanley, you're awesome! This mind control... No, because if I've played the game before, clearly the game is going to recognize that. ...into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. Mm. I love that narrator's voice. Sean had woken up. He went downstairs and had a bowl of porridge. <laughs> My life is not as exciting as Stanley's. It's like the Kurzgesagt narrator. The universe is very large. <laughs> I want someone like this narrating my entire life. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Oh, we can escape as well. I'm okay with not escaping. Um, I'll go to the Mind Control Facility. Uh, I like this one better. I'll get indoctrinated and go back to my job. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Big shiny button, baby want push. What does this say? Can I zoom? The lights Whoops. rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? You know what's weird about this? Is that looking at this, I was about to say, it's like the architect's room in The Matrix. Now, having played this game before, I feel like I've made that joke before, and it's going to be really interesting to, like, watch the parallels between both playthroughs, because I legit don't remember a thing. This is so like The Matrix! This is like the architect's office. And I wonder if the game's going to play into that. <laughs> like, going through another loop of this, having been so long since the last time, I don't know. I'm very curious to see how... That was what horrible that was secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? You know what's weird about this? Is that looking at this, I was about to say, it's like the architect's room in The Matrix. Now, having played this game before, I feel like I've made that joke before, and it's going to be really interesting to, like, watch the parallels between both playthroughs, because I legit don't remember a thing. This is so like The Matrix! This is like the architect's office. And I wonder if the game's gonna play into that. <laughs> like going through another loop of this, having been so long since the last time. I don't know. I'm very curious to see how it handles it.
Employee observation protocol. Okay. Ooh. Now the monitors jumped to oh, life. Oh god. Their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building. That's so cool. Co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen. And Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where he I'm 427, aren't I? That's gonna be me right there. Show me. That's it! That's my desk! <laughs> That's so cool! I'm on TV! Whoa! <laughs> I get to be a... I'm a celebrity! Look at me go! Stanley, edit. you're awesome! This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Mm -hmm. Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? I'm all, I'm still under control. Our whole lives are control. Am I in control of myself? Am I in control of you? You don't know. This is recorded in the entire life utterly blind to the world crazy world lots of smells i would be blind to most of it as well the proof the heart of the operation controls labeled with emotions happy or sad or content walking eating working all of it monitored and commanded from this very place and as the cold reality of his past began to sink in Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. Will I though? <laughs> yeah, yeah. What if I just want a cushy existence where I'm being controlled by somebody else and then I don't have to think for myself? The amount of thinking I have to do for myself every day, it's exhausting. I don't want to have to make every decision for myself. I hate it. <laughs> One. Two. Is that a button up there? What number are you? I will never know. Make yourself known! Buttons! Stanley wandered around, looking for the number four. But he could not find it. For he was stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, mind controls idle, awaiting input. I can just turn it off. And when at last he found the source of the room's power, he knew it was his duty, his obligation, to put an end to this horrible place and to everything it stood for. Hmm. If I turn it off, the game's probably going to end because I've severed control. Mind controls idle, awaiting input. I can just turn it off. And when at last he found the source of the room's power, he knew it was his duty, his obligation, to put an end to this horrible place and to everything it stood for. Mm. If I turn it off, the game's probably going to end because I've severed control. I might have just killed myself, though. Is that one ending? Blackness and a rising chill of uncertainty. Was it over? I'm out into the world for the first time by myself. Yes. He had won. He had defeated the machine. 
unshackled himself from someone else's command. Freedom was mere moments away. But at what cost? And yet, even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Yeah. Where had his yeah. co-workers gone? How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? Wow. What other mysteries did this strange building have? Windows hold? background. And as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized <coughs> that this mattered to him. For it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. Wow. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do, or how to flee. Full control. Whatever life he lives, it will be his. And that was all he needed to know. It was perhaps the only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped I'm in Ireland. Oh, this is just Ireland. There's probably sheep somewhere. These stone walls, that can only be Ireland. Or the north of England. Wait, my whole computer just froze. Okay, this, this got too real. It, it froze and crashed my whole computer. Um, maybe that was just part of the game. Maybe I got so in tune with reality that the game just crashed. Oh, thanking me for setting the clock. He needed to know. It was perhaps the only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped. I'm in Ireland. Oh, this is just Ireland. There's probably sheep somewhere. These stone walls, that can only be Ireland. Or the north of England. Wait, my whole computer just froze. Okay, this, this got too real. It, it froze and crashed my whole computer. Um, maybe that was just part of the game. Maybe I got so in tune with reality that the game just crashed. Oh, thanking me for setting the clock. That's how I know that you care about this experience, you're paying attention. I don't even have any way of knowing if the times you're setting are correct. Tell you what, I'll make you a deal. Since you've been so cooperative, next time you boot up the game and see the screen, just set the clock to your favorite time. Go ahead, pick whichever time you want. Even if it's not the correct time, you've earned it. All right, I'll let you get back to the video game now. Oh, this is so weird. This is messing with my brain. And the fact that this screen is on this and it's all real. Netflix, Amazon, and HBO Max are always swapping movies. But with one just simple search, regardless of what service it's on, you can find it with Likewise TV. No more bouncing back and forward between services and wasting valuable time. Just type in whatever you're looking for and it tells you where you can find it. You can easily save items you are interested in into a single watch list. Likewise TV is free. The end is never the end is never the end is never the end. This is the story of a man. again welcome back is that just the ending to the last one and it just crashed at the end i hope i didn't miss anything all of his co-workers were gone what could it okay mean? 
Stanley decided to go to the This time, room. perhaps we're going to go through the camera. right door. Not the wrong door. Ha! <laughs> Get it? When Stanley came to a set of two open no, doors, buddy. he entered the door on his... This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly <laughs> well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. No, I want to <clears throat> upset the established order. I want to go against the system. I want to break free of my shackles from the hierarchy of capitalism. I want to be my own person. <sighs> yes. Truly a room worth admiring. It had really been worth the detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Stanley simply stood here, drinking it all in. This is prop hunt. That box over there is actually a person. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Nope. I'm going against everything he says, because he's trying to course correct me. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. <laughs> Do not lie. If you are lying right now, stop. <laughs> Just stop it. Get some help. Okay. Some of this is coming back to me, like these locations. They, they look familiar. I remember something about a big baby as well. Is there a big baby ending? Uh, Do not jump from the cargo left while it is in motion. Will cause death. Good. Good observation. Penalty for misuse of cargo lift, a thousand dollars. Penalty for jumping off the cargo lift, <laughs> you get charged five grand for dying. The narrator might be British, but this is certainly taking place in America. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. Oh, I want to jump off someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten. I'm about. leaving! What? Really? <laughs> I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? Yes! Are you that What the heck? What the heck? We missed that whole point. We missed that whole point. He as well. Is there a big baby ending? Uh, do not jump from the cargo left while it is in motion. Will cause death. Good, good observation. Penalty for misuse of cargo lift, a thousand dollars. Penalty for jumping off the cargo lift. <laughs> you get charged five grand for dying. The narrator might be British, but this is certainly taking place in America. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. Oh, I want to jump off here. someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten. I'm about. leaving. What? Really? <laughs> I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? Yes. Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Why? I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you to show you something beautiful. Yeah. Let me prove yeah. it. Let me prove that I'm on your side. Fine. Give me a chance. No buckets past this point. I gotta find me a bucket. Oh. What did my granddad say before he kicked the bucket? How far do you think I can kick this bucket? <laughs> Is there a bucket anywhere? Oh, there has to be a bucket somewhere. I want the bucket ending. No buckets, huh? No buckets? <laughs> yeah, you look like someone who doesn't have a bucket. You wouldn't even know the first thing about buckets. You and your bucketless having life. I am surrounded by buckets. I have so many buckets that I don't even know what to do with them and I'm not gonna give you a single one. My buckets. Fine, go ahead, Stanley. You want to know so badly what's out there? You want to find out what lies at the end of this road you've chosen? Well, yeah. don't let me stop you. Baby want boo. Baby want you bucket. See, there's nothing here. I haven't even finished building this section of the map <laughs> because you were never supposed to be here in the first place. My bad. Broken rooms, exposed developer textures. Is this what you had wanted? Was it worth ruining the entire story I had written out specifically for you? Do you not think I put a lot of time into that? Because I did. And in the end... He said he liked the voice. Nice and well. Nice and well. 
Help me here, Stanley. Help elucidate these strange and unknowable desires of yours. What would have made this game better? Book it! What did you want to see? Vehicles? Skill trees? Work Book with it! me. You've given me absolutely nothing so far. Tell you what. Let me take a stab in the dark at a new design and you can give me some feedback. There we go. A third option. This... I have a challenge for all of you. Go to every computer in your house. Where before? Go ahead, Stanley. Strange and unknowable desires of yours. What would have made this game better? Book it! What did you want? Vehicles? Skill trees? Work Book with it! Me. You've given me absolutely nothing so far. Tell you what. Let me take a stab in the dark at a new design and you can give me some feedback. There we go. A third option. This already feels leaps ahead of where we were before. Go ahead, Stanley. Take it for a spin. Book it! Our bucket. I said I would go against everything he said. Okay, oh. I'm going to stop you there. Now, tell me about your experience with this new version. Would you say that the game benefited from allowing you more choices? Feel free to be honest. I'm looking for some real critical feedback here. Is five like, yes, hard agree? Um, and one is like, wouldn't agree at all? Because uh, I'm going to give you a one because I don't have a bucket. A one? I mean, I can understand if you had reservations, you saw ways the game could be improved to more fully express itself mechanically and artistically, but a one! That's not even <laughs> But helpful. a one! What am I supposed to do with that? Uh, but I guess it isn't my place to judge. Here, based on the data from your previous playthrough, I've compiled a new version. And to be perfectly candid, I think I've knocked it out of the park with this one. Let's take a look. Wait. Based on my previous like run in this version of the game or like having played the original game oh my god there's actual leaderboards oh my god so many doors opened where am i am i oh <laughs> i'm 9328th how long does it take you to get to the correct door <laughs> compete against others to improve your stanley parable career <laughs> Oh my god, that's good. Friends list empty. <laughs> I have friends! I swear! Did you know that 21% of players skipped the intro sequence? Only the worst 3% of players chose the blue door. 98.9% .9 of players are- I didn't even get to read that. The one me percent of players can't read fast enough. How long does it take you to get to the correct door? Uh, I'm not going to the correct door. I'm going through this one now. No. Would you say that competitive leaderboard helped you feel motivated <laughs> to keep walking through doors? Again, honest answers, please. That's really smart. Now they're taking a stab at, like, other games that are like, here, here's a leaderboard. Now you want to play the game more, huh? Like how Ubisoft games are always like, now you can challenge your friends. Yeah. It's like, try, stop trying to yeah. inflate your game. It's bad to begin with. <laughs> hey, I nearly forgot. I've got a prototype of a new game I've been working on, and now would be a lovely opportunity. Please to have it, it be a battle royale. You wouldn't mind taking a look at it, would you? Perfect. Let me boot it up. I hope they make fun of battle royales. In this game, it's the baby! baby crawls left towards danger. You click the button to move him back to the right, and if he reaches the fire, you fail. Okay. It's a very meaningful game, all about the desperation and tedium of endlessly confronting the demands of family life. I think the art world will really take that. <laughs> but of course, the message of the game only becomes clear once you've been playing it for about four hours. So I why see. don't you give it four hours of play to make sure it's effective? Be sure to keep notes on your experience. Got it, got it, got it. Burn the baby! Burn the baby! Let 
the baby you burn! Bastard. <laughs> you do it because you hate babies or purely to spite me? Both. Because if it's the latter, well, I don't know what to do. I'm completely out of ideas. I can't think of a single thing that might improve the experience for me. I'm not even going to try. I'm out. I'm out. I'm done. It's over. Oh. Thank you for playing. Your input was extremely valuable. Oh, hey, since my game was so awful, why don't we play someone else's game? Just to ease the pain. Let's see. What do we have here? Okay, here. Yes. Okay, here. It seems like it'll work. Let's give it a shot. Fortnite. <laughs> oh my god. Ah, fascinating. What do you think this game is about, Stanley? What's this Firewatch? Story? What is our motivation? <coughs> Is, was this in the original? To me that you are meant to play as a creepy man spying on innocent civilians below <laughs> you from up high in your creep tower, perhaps for some sort of twisted erotic purpose. Hmm. Yes, that must be it. What a fascinating venture into the experience of total mental depravity. So far, I love everything about this game, Stanley. And it seems if who fire watches the fire watch? Let's venture outward and see what else is out there. It says, who, who fire watches the Firewatch, which is not only specifically calling out Firewatch, but also Watchmen. Who watches the Watchmen? Wow. Look at it all. Hey, I liked Firewatch. The ending kind of took me out of it, but I played that game on my channel. That was fun. I want a bucket! Oh, there must be a bucket in here somewhere. Bucket. 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 Bowls are kind of like buckets. Don't you think? Plates are kind of like bowls. What the hell? What the hell? Oh, so Chlor talks. Just just Drink the bleach. A basket is like a bucket with holes in it. So a terrible, terrible, terrible bucket. Okay, fine. We'll head out. There's bound to be a bucket somewhere out here. If you cut the top off those gas cans, it would be a bucket. If you cupped your hands and peed into them, it would be like a bucket. No, 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 it can't be. What? It is. It's an open world game. <laughs> Good God, quickly, block it off. <laughs> oh, thank goodness, Stanley, what a close call. You nearly wandered off into that, that thing, <laughs> that big open just wandering around, no right or wrong directions, no path to follow. You can just go in any... Oh, oh thank heavens we avoided it. Yeah. Woods Mouse. Yeah. Okay, Literally. I'm going to get us out of here. Let's find another game. Okay. Preferably something with walls. Something with nice, big, insurmountable walls. Wall game. Okay. I think this will be just the thing. This look cool. This look cool. Just a nice big box for you to run around in. There isn't any possibility that you could get lost here. This now is so this cool. is game design. Stanley, if you manage to get lost in this game, I will be phenomenally impressed. Oh, I'll do it. You don't think I stupid, but me do. Okay, so what exactly do we do here? Let's see. I'm a fall in the hole! There's cars here in the back, but obviously there's no racetrack. Oh. Okay, I'm seeing that there's a ball of some kind back here. Is this game sports ball? Stanley, I think it's sports ball. I love so sports ball. Fun. We shall run the bases and do a touchdown together. Yes, I think surely we must. Can I score goals? Okay, Stanley, here's the ball. Have fun. Oh, my God. That's terrifying. Boosh. This would be so much better if I was a car with rockets strapped to the back of me. Right now, I'm just a slow... Middle-aged, nine to five man. Are you doing it? Are you winning? Is this fun? Yeah. Is it better than my miserable little story that I worked so hard on? Oh yeah. Stanley, I had a thought. 
And I realize I'm not a sportsologist, but if one ball generates a certain amount of raw adrenal... Ten balls! Then surely multiple balls makes for an even more euphoric sports experience. Dude, and now we're trailer, cooking. Here comes another ball. Oosh. I'm so yes. fast now! Oh goodness, that really does feel amazing, doesn't it? Another one! Stanley, I'm like a child in a confectionery shop. <laughs> I simply have to have more. I'm insatiable. Balls! More balls! Balls for everybody! Wow! That's so many balls! Woo! Rocket League, baby! They should add a mode like this in Rocket League. You know when you play those air hockey games and some of them have like 20 pucks? And then it's about just scoring randomly. The Pac-Man one! Is this a real video game? Yep! Well, I sure hope you're having a good time, because guess what? It's over. No! That's right. Your little fun comes to an end. My ball. This is my Dang. game, and what Dang. I say goes. You get to have fun when I let you. Hold on. What are you doing? I broke it! I knew I could! Ha-ha! <laughs> Sally, don't do that. I can't follow you then. Generates a certain amount of raw adrenal. Ten balls. Then surely multiple balls makes for an even more euphoric sports experience. Dude, and now we're trailer. cooking. Here comes another ball. Oosh. Oh, he went down. So uh, fast uh, now. Down, oh, uh, goodness, uh, that really does feel amazing, doesn't it? Another one. Stanley, I'm like a child in a confectionery shop. <laughs> I simply have to have more. I'm insatiable. Balls. More balls. Balls for everybody. Wow. That's so many balls! Woo! Rocket League, baby! They should add a mode like this in Rocket League. You know when you play those air hockey games and some of them I have like just when he has a 20 pucks? Just when he has a pucks. And then it's Realize about just scoring like random like Mark Watch was gone. Was gone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Made, they yep. made a move. Made, well, they made a move. I sure hope more. you're having a good time because guess what? It's over. No! That's right. Your little fun comes to an end. My ball. This is my game, and what I say goes. You're looking over like if you're looking over like if you're looking over like if What are you doing? Oh, I broke it! I knew I could! Ha <laughs> ha! Stanley, don't do that. I can't follow you there. I can't help you. How will you write a story without me? You can't do it. You know that. Stanley, come back. I'm not listening because I can't read. Okay, fine. <coughs> I'll go my own way. I'll make my own story. I know I said I didn't want to make choices for myself, but now I I am and I do. And I oh. I was given control for five seconds and I fell off and died. I'm just a child in a adult mech. I'm convinced. There's nothing about me that is adult like. This is so cool though. All jokes aside, the the level of detail that needs to be done to not only create all of this, but to write around it as well, to have it all make sense and all flow and all happen back to back, to kind of sort of uh, like predict what the player is going to do and then write around that is a really, yeah. really yeah. detail oriented thing to do and to have it all be interesting as well. I don't know about the interest in the a lot of walls. A lot of walls. I wish I was smart enough to be able to do something like this. Oh, it's my office, but in a different version. What is this? I've made it to NASA. Oh, I'm gonna hit the nukes. Surely NASA have nukes. They make rockets, right? I'm sure Elon Musk is just one more social media platform buy away from just creating a, a missile silo. Technically, he already owns a missile silo. Oh god, I, I, I'm sorry. Elon. I what he found. <laughs> if what he wanted was to be the leading man in his own story, well, perhaps he's gotten it. Down in wherever he is right now. I wonder if he's happy with his choice. Not really. If he's learned the heavy cost that comes with it. He'll understand soon what I was trying to tell him. He needs me. Someone who will wrap everything up at the end to make sense out of the chaos and the fear and the confusion. That's who I am. That is what I mean to this world. Oh, yes. Yes, I'll be back. There's no other way. Once this ends, after it all comes to a close, then I'll be back. The end will be here soon. Very soon. I can wait. <laughs> But I can't. Baby's impatient and wants bucket. <laughs> Where 
where, where can I find a bucket? I really want to see what the bucket ending is. Is this just restart now, or am I in the same loop? All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed okay. the memo. What's crazy about that is that there were other ways that I could have gotten off. Like, follow the cargo lift across, sure. Go through the red door. Do the baby thing. Rate five on the games and the feedback. Then actually wait to see what he was going to do with Rocket League. There's so many permutations that I could have gone through in just that one alone. Yeah. And I'm like, God, where do yeah. I start now? I go through this now and see if I can turn the mind control machine back on, maybe. Or just see what happens. Let's see where we go. Maybe go downstairs. Yet there was not a single person here either. Yeah, stocks are down. Wave of disbelief. See this fourth quarter? Yeah, we want this to, to be different. Office, hoping he might find uh, drink top of the morning coffee. Okay, I don't want to go in the broom closet again. Oh, my belly's doing rumblies. I'm so hungry. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. No, he didn't. He went downstairs into hell. Why had he taken that risk? <laughs> All because he believed everyone had vanished. Oh, His boss no. would think he was crazy. And then something occurred to Stanley. Maybe, he thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. Maybe you're still weak. Maybe you're still weak. Maybe you're mysteriously out of existence in a single moment for no Whoa. reason at all. None of it made any logical sense. And everything's repeating. And as Stanley pondered this, he began to make other strange observations. For example, why couldn't he see his feet when he looked down? Oh, God! Why did doors close automatically behind him? What is happening? Went? And for that matter, these rooms were starting to look pretty familiar. Were they simply repeating? Oh, my God, I'm, I'm having existential himself, dread. This is all too strange. This can't be real. And at last, he came to the conclusion that had been on the tip of his tongue. He just hadn't found the word. I'm not real. I'm dreaming! Oh. He yelled. This is all a dream. Oh, sure. What a relief Stanley felt to have finally found an answer, an explanation. His co-workers weren't actually gone. He wasn't going to lose his job. He wasn't crazy after all. So feel crazy. Himself, I suppose I'll wake up soon. I'll have to go back to my boring real-life job pushing buttons. I may as well enjoy this while I'm still lucid. So, he imagined himself flying and began to gently float above the ground. Oh, God! Then he imagined himself soaring through space on a magical star field, and it too appeared. It was so much fun, and Stanley marveled that he had still not woken up. Dude, I How ate something so for lunch. And then perhaps the strangest question of them all entered Stanley's head. One he was amazed he hadn't asked himself sooner. Why is there a voice in my head dictating everything that I'm doing? And I think that all the time. Now the voice was describing itself to be considered <laughs> by Stanley, who found it particularly strange. This is getting too yeah. meta. Yeah. Voice, describing me, thinking about how it's though. describing my thoughts. Oh, thought, baby brain go boom! Really odd, and wondered if this voice spoke to all people in their dreams. The truth was that, of course, this was not a dream. How could it be? Was Stanley simply deceiving himself, believing that if he's asleep, he doesn't have to take responsibility for himself? Stanley is as awake right now 
as he's ever been in his life. I feel awake. Now hearing the voice speak these words was quite a shock. Now he finally stopped and looked at the cup. Finally stopped and looked at the cup. Certain beyond a doubt. And the elder in fact and the elder. Did the voice not see him flow to make the magical stars just a moment ago? How else would the voice explain all that? Simulation. This voice was a part of himself too. Surely, surely, if he could just. He would prove it. He would prove that he was in control. That this was a dream. So he closed his eyes gently, and he invited himself to wake up. Wake up, Stanley. He felt the cool weight of the blanket on his skin, the press of the mattress on his back, the fresh air of a world outside this one. Let me wake up, he thought to himself. I'm through with this dream. I wish it to be over. Let me go back to my job. Let me continue pushing the buttons. Please, it's all I want. I want my apartment and my wife. We're married. And my job. All I want is my life exactly the way it's always been. My life is normal. I am normal. Everything will be fine. Sounds like you have anxiety, Stanley. I am okay. This is how most people think every single day. Existing is terrible in this modern world. I'm convinced everybody Stanley has anxiety. Screaming. Please, someone wake me <laughs> oh, up. God. My name is Stanley. I have a boss. I'm I have stressed. I am real. The Please, nine to five has gotten to me. me. I am real. I must be real. Everything's turning red. Can anyone hear my voice? Who am I? Who am I? I'm not getting paid enough. And everything went black. I died. I asked for a pay raise and I got this killed. This is the story of a woman named Mariella. What? <laughs> Mariella woke up on a day like any other. She arose, got dressed, gathered Who's her Mariella? belongings, and walked to her place of work. But on this particular day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled <laughs> through town talking and screaming to himself. <laughs> then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. <laughs> and although she would soon turn to go call for an ambulance, for just a few brief moments, she considered the strange man. He was obviously crazy. This much she <laughs> knew. Everyone knows what crazy people look like. And in that moment, she thought to herself how lucky she was to be normal. I am sane. I am in control. Oh, she has no mind. idea. I know what is real and what isn't. It was comforting to think this, and in a certain way, seeing this man made her feel better. But then she remembered the meeting she had scheduled for that day. The very important people whose impressions of her would affect her career, mm -hmm. and by extension, the rest of her life. She had no time for this, so it was only a moment that she stood there, staring down at the body. And then she turned and ran. <laughs> Oh my god, it's so good. And I'm back in my office. Hey, I didn't die! It was all a dream! All of his co-workers were gone. I'm gonna escape this time. Stanley decided to go to I'm gonna go through the sign that said escape. Remember when we went to the left? So Oh never mind. I'm gonna click new content. Oh new content? Whoa. What does that mean? New content. This is the new version of the game, baby! What does it mean? Hello, and thank you for playing the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. As wow. you may know, the Stanley Parable was a video game released in 2013 on home computers. <laughs> After receiving critical and commercial success, it was expanded upon in 2022 with the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. That is a so long. Of the game for consoles and home computers. Between releases. The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe features exciting new content that broadens and expands the world of the Stanley Parable, delighting audiences the world over. I read that the original has 19 endings and this one adds more Please and brings it up to 42 to endings. Thrilling new adventures await in the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. That's so cool. Oh, well, this sounds delightful. I'm very excited to see the thrilling new Ultra Deluxe content. Me too. Okay, so far it's an elephant. Nothing special. Hold your horses. I'm sure it's just the beginning of a mesmerizing adventure. Yeah, they need to load it. A lot of effort to make a new game. 
Is this it? Um, <laughs> what's going on? Here? Should we, should we be moving somewhere? Or, or, oh, there we go. All right, finally, at long last, it's on to the new content. I've never been more ready. Let's do it. I hope it's nothing. I hope it's like a, a cupcake or something like that. Hmm. I have to say, initial impressions of Stanley Parable <laughs> Ultra Deluxe, mostly tedious. It's as if them. Um, oh, okay. Let's see the content. Give me the content, Stanley. I love that they like commentate on their own stuff, and like video game design in general. The jump circle. All right. All right. Let's see. It's the jump. I can circle. jump. There's jumping in the game now! This is revolutionary. There's 20 more to go. I'm enjoying my time with video game. This is what I live for. This is gaming. Oh, that's it. I'm not allowed to jump anymore. <laughs> Get it out of your system. We added jumping to the game, but only 36 of them. Surely that's not all the new content. There has to be something else, right? I'm sure they've added like a, a gun. Goodness. Another elevator. Stanley, I have to say, initial impressions of this game are not positive. It's just elevators and jumping. Is this? I there's some wildness. There's some wildness. Continue this. Next time. Next time. How about y'all? How about y'all? Yeah.